Welcome to Spiritual Success, the podcast. I'm your host, Cynthia Stant. As a dedicated student of metaphysics, I have skillfully honed my intuition, mastered the art of meditation, and cultivated a disciplined spiritual practice that has led me to become a multi-seven-figure top sales producer. Today, I work with thousands of business professionals, entrepreneurs, and their teams to up-level their sales game and create magic in their business and life. On this show, you will see that all success truly happens when you authentically align with your intuition. So come, be vulnerable, be open-minded, and allow success to pour through you here on Spiritual Success. Hello, hello, successful souls. So today's episode is all about the power of proximity. What is proximity? It's the people around you. There are so many, many things that have been proven that you are who you keep around you. Remember, everything on the outside is a reflection of what's happening within. You want to have people who are inspiring you, motivating you, living the life that you want to live around you so that you can be internally on the right vibration. And the thing is, you want to remember that very often this means you want to be the smallest person in the room. You want to calibrate up, not constantly going down and talking to people who are not on the same level because then by law, you have to lower your vibration to be in connection with them. Now, this can be a little bit difficult when this means our friends and family who are not on the same wavelength, who don't have the same views or perspectives. It doesn't mean cut them out of your life, but it does mean reevaluate who else is around you too. Remember, you always have the choice. So these can be difficult conversations, but I don't want to go too deep on that today. I really just want to talk about the power of networking power of networking. Now, many of you are entrepreneurs that are listening and many of you have businesses online. Now, I will tell you as somebody who had a very successful career in social selling, that it has never been easier to connect with people. Through the little box that fits in your pocket, your cell phone, you can connect with people all over the world. And when you win, they win, together you will both win, right? It's together we rise. And so really, you can't do things on your own. There's so much power when it comes to networking and there's just little things that you need to incorporate into your daily practices to be able to really utilize this, to monetize this, but also to live your purpose. When it comes to networking, it truly is all about serving. Serve, 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 serve. You don't have to be nervous. Remember, everybody behind the screen is a real person, right? And what you need to be doing is just always asking everybody that you meet, hey, who do you know? Who do you know? Who do you know? And just do the connection calls. Now, the connection calls don't have to take up your whole day. They don't have to be hour plus. Although I find that some of mine are because we just have such amazing conversations. But the thing is, it's about really getting on and being quick. Hey, what is it that you do? This is what I do. What are you looking for help in? I believe I know somebody I can connect you with, right? By the way, I have a podcast. Would you like to be on it? I can be in your podcast. And that way you can cross network and you can promote each other. But it's always just asking who do you know and what do you need help on and how can I help serve? Not being like, hey, I want to take, 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 right? It's I want to serve, 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 and I'm going to connect you to my friends and to my people and to the people that I know that you can really help with. So, I mean, just today I had amazing, amazing conversations with some really high profile people. And the thing is now, because the conversation and really serving we're gonna be doing clubhouse rooms together. We're going to be having them featured on our podcast, right? We're going to um, be uh, just (laughs) doing a lot more things together and introducing each other to other people. This is how you grow, this is how you expand. And you're gonna notice that there's something really special about the Spiritual Success Podcast, especially this year, we're gonna be starting having guests on it, right? And one of my guests that will be coming up soon, I absolutely adore her. I'm not gonna share the story, I'm gonna have her share it, but she's gonna talk about the power of five and I'm gonna have to leave you there. Sorry, I know the, the anxiousness now, but she's gonna talk about how she became the most successful woman. Her name's Suzanne Goldstein, a, a client, a dear friend of mine, um, but she's gonna tell about how she made it made it as one of the most successful women in her industry by just asking, who do you know? 
how can I help? These little things are going to change your life. So I truly do encourage you. I have all of my clients do it all the time in the Spiritual Success Program. Get out of your comfort zone. Be vulnerable, because being vulnerable is your biggest superpower. Be there to serve, and when you serve, when you give, you will always receive. You go first, the universe responds. So I encourage you, start asking around, get on connection calls. And it doesn't mean that you have an expectation, right? You don't have to get something out of it, but just get comfortable and see how you can help someone else. It's always wonderful to be known as the person that's the connector because it always comes back when people think of you as part of their start of their success journey, they're always gonna be there to help you when you need it, right? So. It's really, really something I wanted to talk about today. It's just the power of proximity. It's about really, you know, being the smallest person in the room too. What do I mean by that? You're gonna see the podcast guests that are here on our podcast. They are all people that I look up to, that I inspire to be. Why do I do this? So as a bit of leverage, but at the same time, I want you to see, you know, credibility of the level of people that I'm associated with. So again, I like to lead by example in everything, but this is what you want to be thinking about. What the ego says is, oh no, I can't have somebody better than me because then all my people are going to leave and go follow them. No, serve your people, serve people who deserve to be recognized for being so successful right? That's what the inner feminine beast says. That's what it's like to feed your beast. When you feed the doubt, it's like, oh no, I can't have somebody else steal my limelight. No, you're going to build your limelight by being associated with that person, right? So I just want you to really start thinking about that. If you're not doing that, definitely start your own podcast. Definitely make sure that you are having credible guests. Make sure that they are doing amazing things. And honestly, all you have to do most of the time is just ask. Ask if they'd like to be there. Ask if they'd like a connection call. Be courteous of people's time, because remember, time is your biggest asset as an entrepreneur, as a human being. You can always make more money. You can't make more time. So be respectful of time, but just um, just ask and be fun. And here's the thing what I love about social media is that if somebody says no, so what? It's written in a DM. Like It's not like they slammed the door in your face and they kicked you to the curb, because I've had that happen to me. And it's a lot worse when it's in person than when it's in a DM, right? So consistently be putting yourself out there. You know, Really help other people. Don't make it about you. Always serve, because then it'll be, you'll actually get more of a return. Um, make sure that you are promoting your friends the people in your circle can be in that connector and you'll be connected with more people. I made this a huge intention for 2021 and as soon as 2121 started, <laughs> 2021, um, just left and right, I'm meeting some of the amazing people and almost all of them so far are saying yes to being here on Spiritual Success. So leaving that as a little cliffhanger for you, we have some of the most amazing uh, top selling people in their industries, all are seven or eight figure uh, entrepreneurs. You're gonna have people who are you know, Harvard graduates, Cornell graduates, Disney producers. You're gonna have people on here who are associated with Jack Canfield, Bob Proctor, some of the biggest names in the metaphysical industry. Um, a lot to look forward to. And again, it's because the power of asking, serving, connecting, and remember that you are only as strong as the weakest person in your team, right? So level up, go big, expand. That's what this podcast is all about is to help you to really elevate. I'm here to inspire you, to motivate you, and to lead by example. So, so much to look forward to, and I wanted to make sure that I remind you before we sign off to acknowledge it, embrace it, see it through. Go get them, tiger. <laughs> hey, successful soul. Before you head to the next episode of Spiritual Success, be sure to come join me and other like-minded entrepreneurs and business professionals in my Facebook group, called Spiritual Success Sorority. Everyone is welcome. And if you're loving the show, you're going to love the group even more. There, I'll be engaging with you weekly in live shows, listening to your input for new weekly topics, and hosting exclusive workshops for members only. So if you're looking to really uplevel your financial and personal success, meet me on over in the Spiritual Success Sorority Facebook group. See you on the inside.